Yep, we're still here. That's a, a good sign. So it's been over a month now uh, that I've been in self-quarantine. Time kind of flew by. If I think back about it, like four weeks, that is crazy long. And it doesn't feel like I've done so much in four weeks. So I think that's why it doesn't really feel like it's been four weeks. A month ago, I made this video. Staying alone here is not gonna be fun. I can tell you that. And that first week was very hard for me. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of dark thoughts, having all these theories and whatever is gonna happen with the world. Um, I was doing a lot of research, trying to figure out like, if I learn more about this, can I then maybe understand it better and realize it's not that bad? But then the more you research, then it just started like going deeper and deeper. And I was like, what the f is happening? I had to stop that. That was just ridiculous. That was not gonna help. That was gonna make things even worse. So I decided, Something had to change. So here are the things that I did. First one on the list, stop reading the news and stop reading Facebook. Stop reading all these bullshit articles that people put up. There might be some truth in there. There's a lot of false information. Um, it's, you're just, just gonna be swung around in between feeling good, feeling bad. Number two, stop pressuring yourself that you suddenly have to do all these things now that you have so much free time. Yes, we see all these people now suddenly creating interesting things, podcasts, YouTubes. These people were probably already being very active in that field and they just continued what they were doing in a different way and now themed with the whole situation. And, and don't make yourself feel bad, like the situation is already bad enough. Number three, eat healthy and make your own food. Number four, be active. We're allowed to go for a run, cycle, or walk. I don't know if you guys are allowed to, but if you are, go do it. It's a reason to go outside, it's a reason to get fresh air, and it's a reason to move, because you're not moving enough when you're inside of the house all the time. Oh. Number five, make it cozy at home. You're gonna be spending a lot of time there. This place is a temporary home for me. I used to live here before I moved to Iceland um, and now I'm self-quarantining here to stay away from my parents and not make them sick in case I get sick. Um, so I had to make this place cozy again. Um, so I tried to make it look as if I'm actually living here because um, I might be living here for a while. Number six, have a morning routine and or a schedule. As a freelancer, I'm experienced with a lot of days without schedule, without a wake up time, and I can tell you a morning routine is life changing. I'm still trying to master my morning routine, but I feel it's really starting to pick up. What do I do in my morning routine? I start with a breathing exercise from the Wim Hof method. Very interesting, you should go check it out. I'll put some links down in the description where you can find more about this. After the breathing, I keep the music going from the exercise and I just start dancing around, moving, stretching. Um, so I basically started moving my body. That really gets me going. Second part of the morning routine is writing down my thoughts, just getting it out there, not trying to think too much, but I try to fill two pages every morning. I'm just trying to dump my thoughts to basically let go of thoughts that I don't wanna uh, keep with me for the rest of the day. Uh, then I have breakfast and then I'll have a cold shower, which uh, is a part of the Wim Hof method, um, which is really nice. I try to do two minutes in the coldest setting of the shower, which is pretty cold by the way. Um, probably make a coffee and take that coffee with me to the computer and start doing work. I also have a bullet journal, which is really nice. I keep track of the things I do every day. It motivates me to keep going. Uh, that works for me. I need that push for other people that might actually unmotivate them. Uh, so just uh, do your own thing. Um, yeah, and then I start my day and I try to be as productive as I can. And I try to not think too much about what's going on. I just try to do the things I have to do. So that's basically um, my morning routine. That's what I do. I'm not saying that this is the best way for you, but try and find some things that work for you. But that didn't all come overnight. Um, the morning routine is actually something I've been working on for a year now already. So we're gonna do a 30 day challenge. If Frank does not uh, succeed and do this uh, for the next 30 days, he owes me three 
sweat lodges working for free because it's a lot of work. Uh, if he achieves it, he's gonna give get the world's biggest high five. Nice. Yeah. And that was with a lot of ups and downs, so don't expect it to go smooth all the time. Um, but it's definitely an added value to my day. I never managed to do 30 days uh, on this challenge, and I tried it a couple of times, but uh, I can say that it has changed my life. I've developed my own routine, and even though I haven't completed the challenge, it has had an effect, which is the most important thing. Let's have a look at the original 30-day challenge that David gave me. Three fundamentals of this self-development challenge is three pages, three pages of writing, every morning sort of like throwing your thoughts into the trash because in the morning you wake up with a whole lot of trash and baggage inside your brain inside your mind you throw it away into this thing never to look at it again not one page not two pages not four pages not five pages three pages that's it after that somewhere during the day reading for 10 minutes something that has to do with self-development choosing one book committing to it finishing it then meditating for 10 minutes a day minimum once per day 30 days, if you don't succeed, you're gonna work for free. If you succeed, it's the world's biggest high five and a lot of self-development. Do you accept? I do accept. But what really made the change for me was the workshop. Keeping myself busy, like physically busy, not sitting behind the computer, using my brain to think. I was just making things like this kitchen unit for Foxy and that just distracted me enough and was giving me a sense of purpose. I'll give an update about Foxy very soon in another video, how the build is going, what exactly I'm doing to the car, um, but I think that deserves another video. There's one thing I haven't talked about, and that is social contact. If you're like me, alone in self-quarantine, then it is a bit of an issue, but I found my ways. Like many people out there are doing video chats, that helped me a lot. We've been really creative with this. I've been playing a couple of game nights online with other people. We even had a drinking game night with my former student club, which was hilarious. Those things completely distracted me from the situation, but the video calls are not enough. We human beings, we need physical contact. And I've found my ways of achieving that in just going out for a walk or going to the groceries and, and just saying hi to people. Um, you don't have to have a full-on conversation, but if we just notice each other and we, we smile at each other and say hi, we start feeling like we're not alone in this and we have the idea that, you know, we've been in physical contact with other people. I've also brought groceries to my parents' house and uh, we talked with each other for a while with a five meter distance. Um, that really helped me ground because even though the whole world is changing right now, seeing that some things never change is somehow comforting. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I even had a little cheeky uh, dinner date with a girl I met online in the beginning of the quarantine. Maybe all the video chats that I had with her in the last couple of weeks pulled me through this situation. Who knows where this is going? But the biggest piece of advice I can give you is keep living your life. And yes, some things are not possible right now, uh, but don't focus on the things you can't do. Focus on the plenty of things you can do. And go watch some more of my videos if you feel bored. Hit the subscribe button if you don't wanna miss out on the next one. See ya.